latest Mr. Uday Kumar, the man behind the Indian rupee symbol. I am Devasis Pradeem Sarma from Mass Communication and Journalism Department, SP University. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So, uh, today you are a well established designer. So, Thanks. how this journey has been for you? Uh, I am I'm not sure whether I am a well known designer. Uh, perhaps it's because of the Indian rupee symbol uh, that I am known now. And uh, I'm, I'm happy for that. So, the journey actually, like I mentioned, it's because of the rupee symbol. It was a competition that was floated by the government of India. And I won that. And uh, my symbol is now being used for the Indian rupee. So, that is how I've been known uh, so far. We see you as a very humble person. So, what's the inspiration for your life? Uh, there are a lot of people who have, uh, who have been uh, my role models. Uh, and uh, starting with my father and, um, and I read about a lot of great leaders and uh, so I'm inspired from them you could say and I like to be myself and um, yeah, that is it. Uh, I have come to know that uh, your father, uh, if I am not mistaken, Mr. Hen Yes. Uh, in 1967 he was a MLA. Yeah, so he, he became an MLA at a very young age. And, uh, and I was even not born, or in for that matter, he was not even married. So he was not the youngest MLA during that time. Uh, but I, we both don't talk about politics, and I, I don't, usually don't take interest in his politics. And, we, and thankfully, he doesn't involve me in that. And he always wants us to kind of study and focus on our academics. So that's how it's been all, all throughout my life. So yes, he was a uh, politician at the beginning, and uh, he has his own. Uh, means and uh, work uh, with that, uh, but he doesn't involve us into that. Uh, we have come to know that you, in, in your birthday, you have, in every birthday you plant a tree and you raise it and take, take care of it. Any reason behind it? Uh, I am fond of nature and I believe there are a lot of things that uh, nature has, uh, nature has, and uh, it has inspired me in my designs, my lifestyle, and so many ways. And I'm sure it, it, it is for everyone else, I believe, or most of us too. Uh, so there was, there was a point that I thought I should kind of, uh, instead of just kind of uh, having a thought, but rather put it into action. Yeah. So if you love nature, you need to show it in action. So then I, I realized that I should uh, start uh, planting trees. So uh, wherever I get land, I, uh, since I was in IIT Bombay, I got the opportunity there. I, in front of my hostel, I had a space so I could always plant a tree. Uh, and now I have like, uh, took uh, the, my PhD after from the, uh, coming from all of uh, IIT Bombay, then I joined the IIT Bombay in 2010. And then I had an opportunity to kind of plant more trees because I had the space. And uh, so it's, it's been that. Uh, so whenever I get an opportunity, it's not just necessarily during my birthday, but whenever I get a chance or there's a space, uh, and I, I happen to do that. Is, there, is it a social message to the society? Like, uh, yeah, I think uh, everyone should, in, in, in his or her lifetime, if they could plant a tree and just to see that grow and become big, uh, it, it's a different joy. It's like raising a baby. So it's perhaps uh, it's a wonderful experience. Maybe I would uh, suggest if any, everyone, if you could do at least once in a lifetime, somewhere in, the, in their backyard, backyard of their home or even their institute, the institute permits, and if they can do it, it will be a, a wonderful experience. They have to experience themselves to see the change that it brings about. Uh, when you start a design, what is the process you go through? Any questions you ask yourself during that design? Uh, it is. It depends on the design that I do, uh, the kind of problem that I am addressing. Uh, yes, I do ask several questions. In fact, these uh, I start with the questions, uh, and first. Well, before that, I, I try to understand the client's brief or the, the problem that I have to kind of uh, design for, uh, understand in and out as much as possible. And then I ask questions, several questions for whom I am designing, what is the purpose of the design, and uh, who are the other, what are the other design that is there. And uh, so I, I just likewise, I kind of make a list of uh, questions and try to answer them, and then start my research and then uh, work on my sketches and develop uh, new concepts. Uh, you worked in InfoMedia for two years. Yes. Uh, during that time, like I guess you were started in, 
so what are the obstacles you found and how did you tackle them? Uh, obstacles, uh, in fact that was a job that I wanted to do uh, because I wanted to get into uh, publications, print uh, publications and uh, fortunately I had that opportunity to work in a big uh, publishing house yeah, like you have already mentioned, uh, Tata Infomedia. Uh, it was in, uh, I worked in Prabhadevi in their design office. And they had several other publications. Now, and uh, I worked under uh, Intelligent Computing Chip. So there were four members in our team, design team. And it, it was fairly a bigger team. Uh, in the sense, from design perspective, we were four in total. And I, I was one of the designers. And there were a lot of challenges in the sense that, that was my first job. Uh, before that, I was being uh, summer trainee there. Uh, but I, I wasn't uh, working in an actual uh, real life project in the sense uh, the magazine that will be coming out in the next in a month's time or so. So that was uh, uh, my first experience, and uh, I had a, a, a senior designer above me, art director, and uh, he kind of guided me, helped me, and uh, and also the editor. And the whole team was very friendly, and it was a very good learning experience. And I I don't see I had any obstacles. But yes, uh, there were times that you, uh, because of time pressure, you get stuck and uh, you are asked to kind of deliver within a day or so. You have to come up with some stories and visualization for that stories in a, in a very short time. And then you have to sit all throughout a whole night and start thinking about it. And somewhere you reach a blockhead. And that is when I, you try to kind of uh, relax, uh, try to find, uh, spend time elsewhere so that you get an inspiration. Or, and give a break uh, instead of just continuously working on that. And that little break somewhere sometimes helps. And if you're really stuck, then you also get help from others. You show them and get their feedback, and they will also kind of help you to develop more designs and options, which could kind of uh, fit for the story. So yeah, so that those are few things. The time pressure was one of the biggest obstacles, and of course, all publications work under time pressure. You know, so uh, that is nothing new. Uh, but that I got to learn, and that that was a big learning experience for me. Uh, when you were working, has there been any instance where your client was not happy with your work, and they kind of you know criticized you? Uh, not criticize it. So you work uh, under a mutual understanding. Yeah? So the, uh, typically, client has uh, his own ideas about how uh, the design should look like and how it should be, and so on. But as an expert in the field, and you try to kind of explain them and try to convince. And uh, yes, there were times when it, it becomes difficult because it, could, it kind of extends the uh, duration of the project because the client may not like exactly what you do. But of course, I, like I said, it's, uh, it's a learning experience. There's nothing concrete that this is the perfect design. There's always a scope for improvement. I often say this to the students. In fact, that is the beauty of the design, the profession itself. So, uh, so I understand and I take that as a positive critic, not like a negative comment. And uh, it, it only makes me to kind of challenge myself more and try to address that. Yeah? Because if the client does not like or, or wants more, some more changes, I think it's, a, it's an opportunity I, I see that in, in from that positive angle. And try to make more options and try to fulfill that as much as possible and uh, meet the client's requirement and brief. Uh, you are the first doctorate in industrial design of India. Yeah, from IIT Bombay, uh, when they, they started the PhD program in design, so I was the one uh, first to get, uh, register for it and uh, complete the PhD from IIT Bombay. What was your research paper? Yeah, I, my research title was uh, Transformation of Tamil Letter Forms from Palm Leaf Manuscripts to uh, Early Letter Printing. So I was trying to understand the historic perspective of Tamil script, how uh, scripts have evolved based on the mediums, uh, especially palm leaf, because the palm leaf are one of our earlier mediums of Written a book, yeah. so we have all our books were written in palm leaf manuscripts. So we have bundles of palm leaves which has a, which contains most of our literature in earlier times. Uh, this is the last question. Yeah. Uh, if you sent to a lone island mm -hmm. uh, and you are asked to pack three things, what what are the, those three things you would be packing? Um, three things. Uh, typically, I always have my bag. <laughs> I don't know for it's been with me, uh, I mean, you, you have to pack, yeah, is it? Okay. Um, I don't think I'll take anything, I'll just be happy being there without anything. Yeah, so. so you would like to take a book or like 
So even so, if I take a book, it will just uh, you will finish it up reading it in a week or so. Then what will you do next? So I find more new opportunities there, going there. So I will not maybe not take anything else. So viewer, Uday Uday with us, Mr. Uday Kumar, the man behind the Indian rupee symbol. We are very fortunate of him for having him in our department. We thank him for his wisdom and his valuable lessons. Thank you.